Hi everybody, thanks for joining me for episode 3. If I can refer to my pond as a pear-shaped pond, we're working in the neck part of it now. You can see the uh, base or the, uh, the, wider part of the wider part of the pond is being held back by that uh, sludge we've yet to remove. You just saw the new drain pipe uh, that we we're going to install. We made the decision to put it right here. Uh, we used some uh, measuring equipment, a transom and a site uh, level to establish an elevation. This is how deep I would like the pond. But unfortunately, while we were digging here, we found a rubber membrane. No idea who put that in or when, but it's been there quite a long time. So we made the decision to move on and open the pond up. We're far enough along, the consensus is we're going to go ahead and uh, break that little dike open, let the water flow over here, thus lowering the level of the pond. That allows us to go over and fix a couple of holes we have. When this fills up, I hope I can at least get uh, two foot of water in the neck, in the neck part of the pond. That's my goal. Here's a close-up of the uh, clay. I mean, it seems to be holding water pretty good, doesn't it? Our plan here is to pull out the vegetation matter 
all this, whatever you want to call it. It's just rotting leaves and organic matter from the last 30 years. We're going to pull it up to the bank, let it drain, let it dry, and then I can come back in the future then and seed it. I also asked the operator to reshape that bank in such a way that I can get on that with the uh, John Deere 758, that four-wheel drive mower that I have, and get me as close to the water's edge as I can with that tractor. We're getting real close now to where that first hole in the uh, pond dike is. Maybe that's why all that uh, debris was collected in that area. You might be asking yourself if this stuff had a, a stench or an odor to it. Surprisingly, it wasn't too bad at all. Well, the time has come. We got up to the uh, hole going through the pond dike. Our plan was to dig from where it exited the dike, dig backwards, and uh, follow back into the pond. It didn't take too long and I think we found the cause of the leak. We quickly found a metal pipe that was used for the uh, exit, the overflow drain. You can see it's rotten. Uh, the water probably got out of that pipe, scoured around the pipe, and created a larger and larger hole over time. I was glad we found this. Okay, that's going to take us to episode four next, where we're really going to get in and fix the leak. But you know, I like watching that Sunday morning show on CBS. Uh, I think it's called the Sunday Morning Show. And they always end their uh, production with a scene of nature. And that's what I would like to try as much as possible as I end my videos, uh, to post some scenes of nature with uh, the animals that I share this land with. I don't like to make videos just to hear myself talk, so I'm going to back out of here and let you finish watching this. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.